On February 21st, Israeli forces violently dispersed a march of around 2,000 Palestinians accompanied by Israeli international activists in the southern West Bank city of Hebron. The demonstration was organized to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the Ibrahimi Mosque massacre and to demand the reopening of a main street that has been closed by Israeli authorities ever since. This year's protest marks the fifth year of the campaign to open Shohada Street. Shohada Street was once a major commercial thoroughfare in central Hebron. But after a Jewish extremist opened fire and killed 29 worshippers in the historic Ibrahimi Mosque in February of 1994, Israeli authorities shut down the road to Palestinians under the pretext of preventing reprisal attacks against nearby settlers. They have kept the road shut for 20 years. Israeli and American Jews were among the international activists who took part in the march and expressed their opposition to the Israeli occupation of Hebron and the Palestinian territories more widely. They slowly kill the city, make sure Palestinian families leave. Thousands of businesses have closed down here and in Al-Quds. We're here to protest that today. The world needs to understand Israel's policies that are ethnically cleansing Palestinians out of Palestine. As an American Jew, Jewish American, I feel that it's my responsibility to come here and to free civil rights for everybody here. Israeli forces shot 13 protesters with rubber-coated steel bullets and arrested five others during the march. Despite the repressive measures, Palestinians remain determined to see Hebron's once lively Shohada Street reopened.